Hello, my dear friends. I hope you all are doing good. And uh, I am Mahek Singla, and I'm going to start with my lecture for today since we don't have much time. So let's quickly jump to the topic. So uh, what, are, what is the objective? What is the main objective of today's lecture? Let me tell you about that. So we are going to study whenever we have three sides, how are we supposed to find the area of that particular triangle? We'll be using Heron's formula for the same. And uh, I'll be telling you about that Heron's formula here. So before that, I'll quickly review uh, with this topic of triangles so that, you know, not a uh, yeah, I'm just going to set a base for you. So here is triangles. Examples of the triangles is somewhere here. This is a task for you as well. So I, I already know, like, you know, about the triangles. So let me quickly interrogate you here. <laughs> okay. So we have to identify triangles and non-triangles from some real life examples. So we all know what this is. Naturals. <laughs> yeah, this is a triangle. Good. What about the second figure? Okay. Second is also the symbol board. Yep, this is also a triangle. Great. Yep, this is also a triangle. Correct. What about this shape? This particular shape, which is inside this. Mm -hmm. Very good. This is also a triangle. Another triangle. Great. And how about this next one? So how about this one? How about these three? Oh, let me create the picture. Okay, yeah. What about these figures? Do you think this is a triangle? It has four sides. Of course not. Yeah, this is not a triangle. Good. What about the another one? Yeah, this is not a closed figure. That's right. Correct. This, this is not a triangle. And this is also not a closed figure. So correct. This is also not a triangle. Amazing. So let's move forward. Ron's formula here. So who discovered this Heron's formula? Who is that person? Heron's formula, what this, what this formula is and what was the history of Heron's formula? Heron's formula was actually written in 60 CE by Heron of Alexandria. So it was a Greek engineer and mathematician as well, right? So we discovered the value of the area of the triangle using the lengths of the sides and the further extended it to, the, to calculate the area of quadrilaterals as well, right? So he gave two sort of applications. He started with triangles and then he took and applied the similar thing to quadrilaterals as well. So yes, uh, this was the history of Huron's formula. From there, this formula generated. So let's see what this formula was about and how we have to apply this. Uh, there is a task for you and I'm, I'll be telling you about the formula first and then I'll be explaining you this. Uh, Huron's formula. So... Here is a task where we have a formula. Area of the triangle is S, S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. So under root of this whole term, where S is a semi-parameter. Now what S is? S is actually semi-parameter. Semi-parameter is actually half of parameter. The word itself is depicting everything. You can check it over here. This is S, which is semi-parameter. Got it? So it is a semi-parameter S. How to find parameter divided by three? Parameter is A plus B plus C. So yeah. So if parameter is A plus B plus C, so you can simply, yeah, you can simply add them and divide it with two. This will give you area of the triangle. And then you can put this value uh, here, like S, S minus A, S minus B and C. So this way you'll get the result, correct? And let's quickly jump towards a task which we have for you. Okay, let's see what your task is about. Great. So you have to fill the gaps here, right? Okay, let's do that. And uh, okay. So 35, 26, and 20 are the sides already given. This is a formula which has been shown to you. And this is the stuff which you are supposed to fill, right? What is your A? Your side A should be 35. You can take any number. Yeah, you can take any number as side A, B, C. Correct. The next one. Good. 26. What about the third? Uh-huh. 20. And here, of course, 2. Correct. After adding, yes, 81. Then, okay, 
And after division, what you're going to get? Yeah, yeah. Use your calculators. 40.5 meters. Correct. Now we're going to put all the values here, right? So here, what, what is the position of this number? Yeah, 40.5. And what about this whole thing? This whole bracket? 40.5 minus 35. What I'm going to get here then? After subtracting 5.5. Yep. I also got 5.5. What about this bracket? 40.5 minus 26 is going to give me 14.5. Yeah, good. Good going. And what about this whole bracket? 40.5 minus your C, which is 20, is going to give you 20.5. Now you can multiply all of them and you're going to get a number. Yeah, tell me the number. Tell me after taking under root also what is the final value. <laughs> Yeah, I'm waiting. All right. Yeah, I got the answer in the chat box. 257.31. Correct. So what about the units? Meter square. Hmm. Amazing. Great work. Yeah, I hope you've understood this concept and you know how to apply this Heron's formula. And uh, that's it for today. I hope... If you want to learn more, you can join my regular classes and I'll see you there. Bye-bye. Thank you.